يا ايها الذين امنوا اذا تداينتم بدين الى اجل مسمى اذا تداينتم بدين الى اجل مسمى فاكتبوا Back then, most people, especially the elites, they look at Islamic schools as of they don't have the standard. They don't. They have low standard compared to other maybe British schools or American schools or schools where they have high standards. So in this our environment, especially in Kubwa, they believe before they can get schools of high standard, they have to go to town. So we thought of it and we like we can still provide what they are getting in town. So that's what motivated us and it's part of our strategy for starting the school as an Islamic school. And alhamdulillah, we registered it as a corporate organization, Goldilocks Educational Services. And we started with eight children and later to 48, mashallah. And alhamdulillah, it grew and grew. So in 2018, we started secondary school too. And we were running both Nigerian curriculum and Cambridge curriculum. In 2021, we have the Cambridge A-level classes. beginning, Noble Guide Academy's mission was to provide high quality teaching for literacy in particular using the phonics instruction which was a new concept as at, the, as at that time and also numeracy using the Montessori principles. So over the years we have been able to gain mastery and perfect our teaching methods and now we have moved towards acquiring international recognition and alhamdulillah we've been able to achieve that through certification from the prestigious Cambridge assessment for international education from our primary level up to the A levels. And now we are seriously working towards um, acquiring the same for our um, Islamic education, inshallah. Evaluating our journey so far in respect to challenges that we have encountered along the way. Most businesses are full of challenges, but of course, when you fall, you rise. Definitely, you make mistakes, and the best thing is to move on. You learn from your mistakes and you progress. So, we use this SWOT analysis in the business. When you use SWOT analysis, you have the strengths of your businesses, you have the weaknesses, you have the opportunities, and you have the threat. So we look at our strengths and we try to improve upon them. Then our weaknesses too, we try to like, okay, what are the mistakes? What are the things we're supposed to do better that we are not doing well? So we try to employ other strategies. We have meetings, series of meetings, we have strategic meetings. The integrated curriculum we're using, the British curriculum, the Montessori, the Nigerian curriculum, and Islamic curriculum. So sometimes parents will complain about the Islamia aspects. We try and, okay, let's brainstorm. Let's see where we are lacking. Let's see what others are doing that we are not doing, that parents really want us to do. We send feedback notes home to parents to feel and tell us 
what they really want us to, you know, do for them that we make them stay with us and we try to improve upon them. We gather all those responses and we look at them and try to improve upon our lapses. Alhamdulillah, in 17 years, we have grown slowly but steadily from a population of eight playgroup students to now over 300 students. We have also expanded from a weekend reading class in the living room of our home to now having a preschool, primary, secondary, and also A-levels. Most importantly, we've been, have been able to maintain our high standard of which we get feedback from our parents and from other people who don't even have children at Snowball Guide Academy. I would say that there are a number of factors that can be attributed to the success of the school, of which the foundation is the strong unity among the founders. We try as much as possible to put the interests of the school over and above ours. Because without this unity, the center can no longer hold and the school would be disorganized or worse still, be collapsed by now and will not be here celebrating 17 years of existence. Other factors include our staff, friends and family who have made great contributions to the school and invested freely in us and also our suppliers who have been extra patient with us. All these factors have enabled the school to move forward, alhamdulillah. We are all aware that Noble Guide Academy, we are 17 years, and uh, we need to let you know that over the years, what has been our strength is actually our vision. The board, as a matter of fact, we envision big. And we are blessed with staff that buys into our vision. They buy into our vision, they interpret our vision. When they are doing that, in the process, our parents, they appreciate our vision. They appreciate our vision by bringing in their words to Noble Guide Academy. And the community we have found ourselves, they are ready to support our vision. And that is our greatest strength. Our vision is actually inviting, it's actually simple, and the roadmap is very, very clear. No ambiguity in our vision. And we follow it strictly. In the next couple of years, we are looking at another leap. We are 17. We don't want to stop. We want to actually consolidate on our gains. What we have achieved in the last 17 years, we want to consolidate on it so that we actually pan it down that yes, we have achieved this. We don't want to pursue something. We are pursuing new future new direction and we'll be losing ground on what we have gained. So we have put down the mechanism that will enable us to consolidate. Part of the area we are looking at is that our students should be winning scholarship. That's part of what we are looking at. Equally, we want to expand. Don't forget that we started actually from a retail uh, process, we, we move into wholesale. What do I mean by retailing? When we started, we actually started from reading program, mass program, crutch. Now, alhamdulillah, we have moved into preschool, lower primary, upper primary, lower secondary, upper secondary, uh, sixth form. The sixth form is the A-level of Cambridge. We have the certification, we are actually 
right now preparing students to do the Meijun diet. We are trying to expand into what I call International Foundation Diploma. We want to be one of the schools that has gateway for foreign studies. We are providing a platform for anybody that want to study abroad. But you want to start your year one here, we are working on that and that will give us access to so many universities abroad. We are looking at launching what I can call career experience program. We have already started it, but we want to give it a full coloration. Career experience, which we refer to as SEP, is to enable our students and our alumni to have a working experience while in school. One of the leading construction companies in Abuja, in Nigeria, has already given us the platform. As a matter of fact, three of our students are already doing that program, career experience program, with the company. In the future, we are looking at collaborating with so many big companies so that we can fully integrate this into our program. Thank you so much.